Stardew Valley is a huge game and contains many things that the average player has never seen. Today I want to go over some of what I believe are the rarest items in the entire game. Now when I say a rare item, I'm not just talking about the lowest possible drop rate, although that will be included, I'm talking items that require such specific conditions that most people have never had the chance to come across it. A common theme with a lot of these items is that they only come from one source or have a very specific moment over a long period of time that you can obtain them. With that said, however, first we have the Living Hat. This item boasts the lowest drop rate of any item in the entire game. Although, there are actually two different ways to get it. The first is just by cutting weeds. Every time you cut a weed, there is a 0.001% chance that this will pop up. That's a 1 in 100,000 chance. The other way to get the item is as a drop from the Wilderness Golem. If you've never heard of that enemy, well I don't blame you. The Wilderness Golem is only encountered if you choose the Wilderness map as your farm layout, or if you activate the Dark Shrine of Night Terrors in the Witch's Hut. At that point, they'll start spawning on your farm at night, with a surprisingly good drop table including Iridium Ore, Diamonds, and of course, the Living Hat. Now even though cutting weeds is such a common activity, a 1 in 100,000 chance is very small. I'd be surprised if the average player even cut a thousand weeds in an average playthrough. With that, I'm done talking about drop rates. All of these other items are going to be very unique. The first of which being the tea set. This is the only gift that can be received during the Feast of the North Star that can't be obtained anywhere else. It's given by anyone except for Clint, Evelyn, Marnie, Robin, or Willy. So let's do the math. Five of the 30 possible gift givers can't give it to you, making it a 5 in 6 chance to have the chance to get the tea set. After that, there's about 14 items that each of these characters can possibly gift you. A few have some extra items to pull from, but I'm keeping it simple here. This makes it a 1 in 14 chance to get it if you have a character that can give it to you. Doing the math, this comes to about a 6% chance to receive this item every year. And all it is is decoration for your house. You can place it on a table or something if you want, I guess. Next I have a set of three. The paintings Land of Clay, The Serpent, and Tropical Fish number 173. If you didn't know, the painting shop during the night market has a rotating stock year to year. This cycle will repeat after three years have passed. The three paintings I've listed here are the three that are available every third year. While it's not rare in a percentage drop sort of way, I do think it's very unlikely that any player would get these three paintings. And after all of that, you'll be one of the few players that owns these paintings. And by the way, these also happen to be some of the few paintings that aren't included in the furniture catalog, so this is the only way to obtain them. Next up, we have the Zuzu City Express, the wall decoration. Similar to the previous item, obtaining this would require a lot of waiting and then interacting with an obscure activity within a certain time frame. This time we're talking about the crane game at the movie theater. To start, you need the theater unlocked, which is what many people would start to consider post-game. So you've already lost a good portion of the player base there. Next, there's only one movie poster in the crane game at a time, and it's of whatever's playing in that season. If we look at the schedule of when movies play, you'll see that the Zuzu City Express plays on winter of year two. Big deal, I hear you say. The movie theater is usually unlocked in year two anyway. Well, year one in this situation is actually referring to whatever year you unlocked the theater, which means once again you'll usually be waiting until winter of year three to obtain this item. And by the way, with this and the previous item, if you miss them, don't worry, just wait another two years for this item or three years for the previous item and you can get them again. Now let's go over some weird ones. These items are the only ones that you can possibly miss and never get again. And these are all of Penny's exclusive redecoration items. Basically, if you marry Penny and reach 14 hearts with her, which is a challenge on its own, you'll watch her 14 heart cutscene. During which, she gives you the choice between redesigning your bedroom with three different scenes or not redesigning at all. These three scenes are Strawberry, Pirate, or Forest and Moon. Choosing a scene will have you wake up three days later with your room decorated. Including in these decorations are a few that cannot be obtained anywhere else. And of course, once you choose one option, you're locked out of the other two forever. 
even if you divorce Penny, wipe her memory with the Shrine of Memory, and build her back up to 14 hearts, the event will not occur again. And if you're wondering what these items are, if you choose the strawberry scene, you get the strawberry decal and the strawberry rug. If you choose the pirate scene, you get the pirate flag and the pirate rug. By the way, these are the only two rugs in the entire game that aren't in the furniture catalog. And if you choose the forest and moon scene, you get night sky decals one, two, and three. So if you ever see anyone with a pirate flag in their room along with a strawberry rug, they're hacking. And then lastly, we have the rarest item of all is the one that hasn't been discovered yet. In September of 2021, Unsurpassable Z hosted Barone, who is the creator of Stardew Valley, during a stream. During this stream, they touched on the topic of unfound secrets in Stardew Valley. To this, Barone said, There is one that I don't think anyone will ever figure out, but it's like a, there's a secret, I guess you might say, uh, message or something and, and actually the thing is the message is not even really relevant anymore it, <laughs> it it was like originally revealing something that's like actually not even true anymore but it's still i don't think anyone's found it and i don't know if anyone ever will because it's like extremely obscure to find it so there you have it from the big man himself to be honest, I don't know if this secret would provide you with any item or anything, but I think it's fair to say that this is the rarest event in the game, seeing whatever that dialog box is. Thank you so much for watching. Part of the reason I wanted to make a list like this is because upon trying to search for the rarest items in Stardew, you constantly come across the same list of five or so events that can happen at night. Events that almost everyone has heard of or experienced at this point. I wanted to actually do a deep dive to find the items that even I didn't know about until making this list. If there's anything else you want to see me cover, please make sure to let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and good night.